somebody give God praise exalt his name give him glory give him honor for his goodness and his loving kindness give him praise give him praise give him praise give the Lord praise exalt him for his goodness thank God for your life thank God for your family thank God for his goodness the Bible says from the rising of the Sun and unto the going down of the same the name of the Lord shall be glorified. We glorify your name for your goodness. We glorify your name for your loving kindness. We glorify your name for your blessings upon our lives, your blessings upon our families, blessings upon our households. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you adoration. Come on, somebody bless his name. Bless his name. Bless his name. Give him praise. Give him glory. Give him honor. The Bible says, let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let the seas resound with a mighty roar. Let the trees of the forest clap their hands and let the whole earth be filled with the knowledge of the glory of God. Come on somebody, you are part of that glory, you are part of that honor, you are part of that exaltation this morning. Come on somebody, give him praise. Regardless of the challenges and difficulties, you must have woken up with a very bad dream, a nightmare, but I can tell you God is good in the name of Jesus you can turn it around as you rise up from your bed wherever you are joining us even from the hospital from your place your studio wherever it is your consultation room across the continents of our world across the globe from any nation rise up rise up rise up rise up let's give God praise let's give God glory let's give him honor let's give him adoration in the name of Jesus lift yourself up call your family call your loved ones tell somebody this is your command your week command your week command your week command your week what you say into the beginning of the week will determine how the week ends as we speak into the belly of the week as we speak into 
the womb of the weak as we speak into the stomach of the weak may your weak be good may your weak be blessed may your weak be saturated with the blessings of God come on somebody lift yourself up lift it up lift it up lift it up in the name of Jesus the Bible says those who seek me early shall find me for I am the Lord God I love them that love me I love them that love me and if you love him you will seek him and when you seek him you will find him in the name of Jesus Christ those who seek me early shall find me for I love them that love me I love them that love me if you love the Lord you will rise up from your bed if you love the Lord you will rise up from your place of comfort you will move you will praise God you will exalt his name you will give him praise for his goodness come on somebody lift that name of the Lord up exalt his holy name put yourself together shake yourself in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus come on somebody lift it up lift it up lift it up lift it up in the name of Jesus lift it up in the name of Jesus lift it up in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus lift it up lift it up don't stop don't give up don't give in don't lift don't don't break don't break don't break don't break lift that prayer up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the Lord is here the Lord is here God is here to bless God is here to empower God is here to lift you up wherever you are joining us on the internet across the world across the nations in Ghana here, wherever you are joining us from, may the grace of God be lifted upon you. May the hand of the Lord be lifted mightily upon you. May sicknesses fall, may diseases fall, may weaknesses fall. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Bible declares in Psalm 36, verse number 9, that oh God to you belong the fountain of life and in thy light we shall see light. Let the light of God shine upon you as you rise up arise and shine for the glory of the Lord is risen upon you come on somebody will lift it up lift it up lift it up for with thee is the fountain of life with thee is the fountain of life in thy light we shall see light let the light of God shine upon you let the hand of the Lord shine upon you let the grace of God sustain you let the power of God lift you up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God oh God we thank you we bless you we give you praise in the mighty name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we quickly want to look at a scripture we want to look at a scripture from the book of Exodus chapter number 10 from verse number 24 very quickly let's look at the scripture the Bible says, and Pharaoh called unto Moses and said, Go ye, serve the Lord, only let your flocks and your heads be stayed. Let your little ones also go with you. Verse number 25. And Moses said unto, and Moses said, Thou must give us also sacrifices and burnt offerings that we may sacrifice unto the Lord our God. Look at verse number 26. Our cattle also shall go with us. There shall not an hoof be left behind. For thereof must we take to serve the Lord our God. And we know not with what we must serve the Lord until we come thither. Look at verse number 27. Something very interesting happens. But the Lord hardened Pharaoh's hearts and he would not let them go. He would not let them go. Verse 28. And Pharaoh said unto him, Get thee from me. Take heed to thyself. See my face no more. For in that day thou seest my face. Thou shalt die. And Moses gave a wonderful response in verse 29. And Moses said, Thou hast spoken well. I will see thy face again no more. I will see thy face again no more. Tell somebody, whatever stubborn situation you are, 
whatever difficult situation you are, whatever circumstances, whatever challenges, whatever diseases, infirmities, whatever weaknesses, whatever they are in your body that are threatening you, that if you try to do something, you are going to die. This is the word of the Lord to you. You will speak back to that circumstance. You will speak back to that situation. You will speak back to that. Whatever horrendous and how terrible the situation is. That thou have spoken well. I will see thy face again no more. I will see thy face again no more. We want to pray in the name of Jesus. When you look at the verse number 25 specifically, Moses said to Pharaoh, God said to let my people go. And Moses said, thou must give us also sacrifices and burnt offerings that we may sacrifice unto the Lord our God. In verse 24, Pharaoh said, go, go ahead, go and worship the Lord as much as you can. But make sure your children, your wife, anything go with you but your animals, your cattle and all the substances must be left behind. Must be left behind. And said, go ye, serve the Lord. Only let your flock and your heads be stayed. Let your little ones also go with you. We want to pray in the name of Jesus today that any negative and demonic power that holds back the total blessings and the total miracle and the total breakthrough of your life as we lift up prayer today whatever it is any spirit of Pharaoh any spirit of hold back any spirit of setback any spirit of demonic negative and satanic hold back that try to threaten and to hold back the blessings of God upon your life we declare in the name of Jesus let all such demonic hold backs break let them be broken in the name of Jesus say in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus as I pray as I lift up my voice in prayer I declare today in the spirit of Pharaoh that holds back the blessings of God my total victory my total breakthrough my total breakout my total break free in the name of Jesus as I lift up my voice in prayer let my family be set free let my household be set free in their education on the job in my family in our health whatever it is that the enemy is trying to hold back as I lift up my voice in prayer let it break in the name of Jesus lift up your voice clap your hands somebody lift it up pray in the name of Jesus pray in the name of Jesus we override every form of negative patterns every demonic programming every projections of the enemy imaginations of the enemy and negative energies that the enemy has packaged to hold back to deny and to rob the blessings and the people of God let it break in the name of Jesus let it break let it break let it break let it break by the power of the Holy Ghost somebody lift up your voice lift yourself up lift up prayer 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 let it break 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 off your life in the name of Jesus hold it Pharaoh said go ahead worship God as much as you can go with your children go with your family go with your wife go with everybody you want to but make sure the animals the flock the heads the substances you need that will make your worship complete let them stay behind let them stay behind you work so hard with very little to show for you work so bad with nothing to show for we want to pray in the name of Jesus anything that holds back the blessing of God upon your life 
anything that holds back the substance of your hard labor the substances of your hard work we want to declare in the name of Jesus let the hold of Pharaoh of your life be broken in the name of Jesus let the hold on your substances be broken let the hold on your profit be broken let the hold on your children be broken let the hold on your marriage be broken let the hold on your family be broken in the name of Jesus say in the name of Jesus as I lift up prayer in the mighty name of Jesus I declare my victory my worship shall be total and complete without fail without fail without struggle in the name of Jesus anything that contends with my substance anything that contends with my breakthrough anything that contends with my household in the name of Jesus as I lift up prayer let it pray let it pray let it pray clap your hands lift up prayer pray in the name of Jesus somebody lift it up lift it up lift it up lift it up by the power of the Holy Ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus he says go ye serve the Lord only let your flocks and your heads be stayed let your little ones also go with you we declare in the name of Jesus any negative patterns any demonic agenda any satanic host that contains against the blessing of God the miracle of God the breakthrough of God over your life over your family over your household over your loved ones in the name of Jesus let it go 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 let it pray let it pray let it pray by the power of the Holy Ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost lift it up lift it up lift it up lift it up in the name of Jesus 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 Rokabohosa Rakabos Reketelebehe Repokoboho Rapakateba Rakabo Resetelebebe Makuda Vagate Rekebo Savaha Rosovolobo any weapon formed against your life from against your prosperity, from against your breakthrough, from against your next level, from against your marriage, your relationship. Let it pray. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the mighty 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 name of Jesus. Let it pray. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. We want to pray in the name of Jesus. What Pharaoh is communicating over here is that there are certain aspects in your life they will look good. They will look glamorous. They will look beautiful. But when it comes to certain parts, you will be down there. You will never succeed. It doesn't matter how hard you work. You will have only very little to show for. You love God. You serve God. You praise God. You do everything in church. But when it comes to that which will show as a substance of your love for God, you struggle. We want to declare in the name of Jesus. Any weapon set in motion. Any demonic agenda put in place to make sure your relationship, your marriage will not succeed. Your children will not succeed. Your home will not succeed. Your family will not succeed. That your health, you will always struggle with it. We declare in the name of Jesus. Let the hold break. Let the power break. Let it break. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare by the word of the Lord. Your word declares that no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Every tongue that shall rise up 
I curse my life, my family, my loved ones in judgment. I shall condemn as I lift up prayer and I clap my hands. I declare every weapon, pray, let it pray against my life, my family, my household, my loved ones, my children. Let it pray, let it pray, let it pray, let it pray, let it pray. Somebody pray, clap your hands, pray in the name of Jesus. Let it break off your life, off your children, off your home. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. Lift it up. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Every tongue that shall rise up against your life in judgment, you shall condemn it. Condemn it. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Rekabo. Rekabelebe. Rokolobobo. Rakabo. Rakatapa. Rekalababa. Rakolaba. Reketekele. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift up prayer. Rise up. Wherever you are. Rise up. Call your children. Call your household. Call your loved ones. You will break out. You will break through. You will break forth. You will not be down. You will not be subjected to the tributes of the enemy. Come on, somebody lift up prayer. Lift it up, lift it up. Lift it up in the name of Jesus. Lift it up. Lift it up, lift it up. Lift up prayer. Lift up prayer. Lift up prayer. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Let's go back to Exodus chapter 10. Exodus chapter 10 from verse number 25. And Moses said, Thou must give us also sacrifices and burnt offerings that we may sacrifice unto the Lord. Tell somebody, I need substance to serve God. I need substance to serve God. It is not enough to just praise God with your lips. It is not enough to just tell people I love God. There must be a reflection in your life. There must be a reflection in your life. Say in the name of Jesus. Today, by the power of the Holy Ghost, any assignment by the enemy holding back the blessings, the blessings, the miracles, the liftings, the breakthroughs, the elevations, the promotions in my life for my next level in the name of Jesus as I clap my hands I command let the hold let it pray let it pray let it pray let it pray lift up your voice somebody clap your hands and pray in the name of Jesus Mako Sakatabaha lift it up lift it up lift it up lift it up lift up prayer lift it up in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Makabo, in the name of Jesus, Rakabo, let your substances be released, let your miracles be released, let your breakthroughs be released, let your breakouts be released, let your dominion be released, let your freedom, your liberty be released, release, 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 release. In the name of Jesus, you will not be held back. You will not be denied. You will not be denied. In the name of Jesus, let the fountains of the deep, let them pray. Let them pray. Let them pray. Let them pray. Somebody clap your hands. Lift up your voice. Pray. Pray in the name of Jesus. 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 Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. Kabozaha, Ray Kapaha, Jesus. Look at verse number 26. Let's look at verse 26. Our cattle also shall go with us. There shall not an hoof be left behind. For there must we take to serve the Lord. This is Moses calling the bluff of Pharaoh that you think you have power. But we are going with everything. 
Our children will go with us. Our wives will go with us. Our husbands will go with us. Our loved ones will go with us. Our animals will go with us. Not even a hoof will be left behind. Say in the name of Jesus. Anything of mine in the hand of the enemy that reminds him and gives him the audacity to hold on to my blessing in the name of Jesus. Today, as I clap my hands, I declare, let it pray, let it pray. My family set free, my children set free, my household set free. Anything the enemy is using as a weapon to fight, let it break, let it break, let it break. Clap your hands, command it, pray. Break in the name of Jesus. Let it break. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Look at verse number 27. But the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart and he would not let them go. 28. And Pharaoh said unto him, Get thee from me, take heed to thyself, see my face no more. For in that day thou seest my face, thou shalt surely die. Say threatenings, demonic threatenings, demonic threatenings. Anything that belongs to me by virtue of the light of God and my understanding that I am going for, which is threatening. The enemy, familiar spirit, background spirit, to fight and to threaten my life. Say in the name of Jesus, I declare, according to their word, let the opposite occur. Let the death, let the death, let the disease, let the infirmity, let the wickedness they have plotted for my life, my household, my loved ones, my children, my house, this house, the father of this house, whatever threatening they have in place, let the opposite occur. Let it occur. Let it boomerang. Let it backfire. Let it backfire. Say the name of Jesus as I stamp my feet and I clap my hands and pray. Let whatever threatening they have in place, let it backfire. 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 Backfire, 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 backfire. Pray, somebody pray. Lift it up, 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 lift it up. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Rekabo, Rakabo, Rakatela Baha, Jesus. And Moses said, as you have spoken, so shall it be. The next time Moses saw the face of Pharaoh and his people was when Miriam took a tambourine and shouted and said, I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. We declare today, and the threatening of the enemy, and the curse, and the pronouncement, and the death sentence, and the death verdict, and the claim, and the demand on your life, your family, your loved ones, your children, the work of your hands, this house, let the threatening, let the death sentence, let it by fire, let it by fire, clap your hands, lift up your voice, pray in the name of Jesus, let it by fire, let it by fire, let it by fire, let it by fire, lift it up, Lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. The Bible says, For yea, there is no enchantment against Jacob, and there is no divination against Israel. We declare the name of Jesus and a death sentence and a verdict of death and a verdict of wickedness. Let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end, 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 come to an end. Come to an end. Come to an end. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Lift it up. Lift it up. 
Clap your hands, clap your hands. Lift up prayer. Pray. Keep praying, clap your hands, keep praying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Put your hands together to the Lord, amen. amen. Welcome to Command Your Week with the Archbishop and Sons. Put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. This morning we want to continue prayer and we want to deal with evil mountains. Evil mountains. Someone say evil mountains. Evil mountains. Mountains in the Bible is a place of having an encounter with God. And not just an encounter with God, but communion with the divinity. Jesus. But the enemy be the devil be the arch enemy of the church uses mountain to oppose us, mountain to resist us. If you look at the Bible in the book of Exodus chapter 3, from verse 1 to 4, you can write it down because of time, Exodus 3, 1 to 4. Here we see Moses had an encounter with God on the Mount of Horeb. And then when you come to 1 Kings uh, chapter 18, verse 20, there we see in 2 Kings chapter 4, verse 25, we see Elijah and Elijah also had a place or had an encounter on the Mount of Camel with God. Now we as a church, we also have a place what we call the prayer mountain. And so mountains in the Bible is a place where we have an encounter with God, where we go to meet God face to face. But the devil be an archmany of the church. He uses mountains to do nothing, number one, to hinder us, create difficulties, create obstacles, create troubles. But this week, you and I, we are going to pray that any evil mountain that will confront you and your family and this church and the Archbishop and his see this year, let those mountains be removed. Remove. Let the mountain be removed. Remove. Let the mountain be removed. Remove. Mark 11, Mark 11, 22 to 23. Are you ready for prayer? Mark 11, 22 to 23. He said, and Jesus, Mark 11, 22, yeah. And Jesus answered and said unto them, ha, no, no, no. Whosoever shall say to this mountain, let us journey is about saying, it's about speaking to the mountain. You speak, nothing happen. When, when you speak, he says, verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say to this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he, which he, which he say shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he desire. Lift up your hand and say, in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus, any evil, evil mountain opposing me, opposing me, hindering me, creating obstacles on my way. All you mountain, all you mountain, be removed, be removed, be removed. Clap your hands and pray that prayer now. Who's son of a chassis? Speak to that mountain. Mountain that create hindrances. Mountain that create difficulties. Mountain that bring obstacles and trouble on your way. Speak to that mountain. Wherever you are. Wherever you are, hear the sound of my voice. Wherever you are, you can be upstanding, commanding and speaking to every mountain that opposes, that create hindrances, difficulties, that create problems for you and your house, your family, 
at your workplace in the life of our father, the eminence, the Archbishop Daniel William, and the children. Let's such obstacle, let's such hindrance, let's such mountain as you clap your hands. Let them fall, let them fall. Let a mountain fall. Let a mountain fall. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 4. Isaiah 40, verse 4. You said, Every valley shall be exalted. And every mountain and hill shall be made low. Say by the blood of Jesus. Say by the blood of Jesus. Every mountain, every hill be brought down right now. In the name of Jesus, clap your hands and pray the prayer. Let it come down. Jesus. He says shall be made for low and the crooked path shall be made straight. Say every crooked path, every crooked path on, my way, on my way be made straight. Be made straight. Be made straight. Be made straight. And he says the rough places. You know when you are driving on the rough places it keeps you see it delays you. A, a, a journey of just about five, five minutes can take you too long because the road is so rocky. So I mean, it's wrong. You can't make it. But this morning, every crooked path, Lagusa Katabaha, every rock places, as you lift your voice today, be made plain, be made plain, be made plain, be made plain. Clap your hands and pray that prayer now. Listen, faith moves mountains. 
and because faith moves God mountain moves by faith and so it's about speaking to the mountain you speak to it that let the mountain that is obstructing you let it be removed in your life are you here with me are you here with me are you here with me please come a little before me come a little before it let, let's let's keep this thing let's hear it up come a little before it please come a little before it do the higher Whatever I say, say, let it come down. Mountains of obstacle, let it come down. Mountains of difficulties, let it come down. Mountains of setbacks, let it come down. Mountains of integration, let it come down. Mountains of burden, let it come down. Mountains of defeat, let it come down. Mountains of hardship. Let it come down. Clap your hands and pray that prayer now. Jesus, Speak to it. Speak to it. Clap your hands wherever you are. Speak to the mountain. Any mountain confronting you, your family, and your job, this house, in the life of our father, the admission, the children, every mountain, every mountain, every evil mountain. Clap your hands wherever you are. Break the mountain. Let it break. Let it break. Let it break. Clap your hands wherever you are. Let it break. Let it break. Let it break. Let the mountains come down. Let the mountains come down. In the name of this, I pass and go back. Raise and come up here. The love of God. Send to come by your path. And tell him to come back. Zachariah 4 7. Who are thou? Oh, great mountain. <laughs> Before Zerubbabel, thou shalt become a plain and shall bring forth the headstone thereof with shouting, crying, grace, grace unto it. Listen, remember here, he says, Who art thou, O mountain? He didn't say what. He didn't say what. That determined, that shows that the who means that there is a human personality that is behind the mountain. Are you hearing me, somebody? And that is why I say who, because you use who for a human being. That means that behind your problem, behind the mountain that are confronting you, there is a human personality. But this week, this morning, we are going after every human personality that is opposing you. This house, the Archbishop, and the children. Clap your hands wherever you are. Let that personality, let them fall, let them fall, let them fall. Pray this prayer. Pray this prayer. Pray this prayer. In the human mountain, in the human personality that the enemy has deployed to fight you this week. Let that personality, let them crumble. Let him crumble. <laughs> Whatever I say, say, let it fall. Can I hear somebody say, let it fall? No, can I hear say, let it fall? Say, let it fall. Mountains of fear, 
mountains of fear, mountains of sickness and disease, mountains of poverty, mountains of retrogression, mountains of setback, mountains of problem. Clap your hands and pray the prayer. Let it fall, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall. Let it fall. That personality behind that mountain, let it fall. Kadoria Paya, Leka Takada, Mekelerebo Shato, Kataya Kalagato, Ila Kadelebo, Whosoever shall say, whosoever shall say, wherever you are across the nations of the world, you can lift up prayer as you walk around, as you pray. Let that mountain be crumble and fall. That mountain confronting you, opposing you, resisting you. I decree today by divine authority, let that mountain let it crumble and fall. Say any human personality. Are you here with me? Are you sure you are here? Yes, Say any human personality, human personality. Behind, behind my sickness, my disease, my, disease. my problem, no, no. right now, no. by divine no. authority, no. I shall clap no. my hair, yes. let the mountain, yes. let it crumble, no. let it fall, 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 no. let it fall. No. clap your hands and pray the prayer now. In a human personality behind that problem, behind that sickness, behind that issue, Bakatayata, Whatever I say, let it fall. Mountains of crisis, mountains of witchcraft, mountains of evil stronghold, mountains of non achievement, mountains of chronic disease, mountains of ill health, mountains of financial blood, mountains of negative cycle. Clap your hands and pray the prayer. Let that mountain break. Let it break, let it break, let it break. They don't have power over you. Speak to the mountain. Speak to that mountain. That this week you will not be opposed. Let that mountain fall. Who are thou? Who are thou? You personality. Confronting me, fighting my progress, the progress of this house, the progress of the admission. Let it fall, let it fall, let it fall, let it fall. Clap your hands and pray that prayer. Say by the blood of Jesus this week. Any mountain, any evil personality that will fight me, let them fall, let them fall, let them fall. Clap your hands and give the Lord a shout of pray. Clap your hands and pray the prayer now. Let them fall, let them fall, let them fall. Let them fall, let them fall, let them fall. By the power of Jesus, let them fall, let them fall.
In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Say we declare. We declare. We declare. And lift before your throne of grace. Your servant. The archbishop. The archbishop. His wife. His family. His children. His grandchildren. His house. And anything that concerns him by the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh Lord. Now you will satisfy him with your salvation and lengthen his life on this earth. Oh Lord, we declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, let his latter be greater than the former by the power of the Holy Ghost. Any assignment by the enemy to hurt, to touch, to hurt, to afflict in any way and everything that concerns him, we declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it backfire, 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 backfire. Put your hands together, clap. Let it backfire. 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 We secure. Your man servant, we secure your man servant, we secure your man servant in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Let it be strengthened, be strengthened. Say in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, from the crown of his head. To the soles of his feet. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. That you might show him your goodness. Your goodness in the land of the living. In the land of the living. Strengthen him. Strengthen him on every side. Empower him on every side. Let your grace abound towards him. Let him accomplish more, more than ever before in the name of Jesus. Say I declare, I declare as I pray this prayer, let the same be credited to my account. Lift up your voice, clap your hands, lift it up, pray, 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 pray. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus, somebody. Put it together, put it together. Are you clapping? Hallelujah. The Bible says, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. And by the words of their testimony. Hallelujah. We have a few testimonies here this morning. We are going to read them. As we read the testimonies, may God release your testimonies as well. This week will be a good week for you. That you will walk in power. You walk in grace. And you walk in divine strength by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. So here we go. It says, Papa, I don't know where to start. Since arriving at Craft for rich quick scheme and accumulating debts, I found also I found solace in church. Command your week has been a great turning point for me. I'm grateful to share that I now have a job with a U.S. company that allows me to work remotely from Ghana. I bless God and I thank you, Papa, for everything. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody give God praise. May the Lord deliver you from every form of demonic manipulation and may he deliver your testimonies into your hands in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. He says, Papa, my name is Tella. My family and I rented a place and our time was up to move out of the old place. In the course of searching 
for a new apartment, I contacted a, dis a deceitful estate agent who lured us and took our money but didn't want to give us the place. The whole thing looked like fraud. So last Monday during Command Your Week, Papa gave us Nehemiah 5.11 to pray for the whole week for restoration. On Tuesday, the agent and her partner gave us our money back. Thank you, Jesus. Tell somebody, I'm taking back my money. I'm taking back my resources. Anything to you me that the enemy is holding on to, say, I take it back. In the name of Jesus. Amen. About the last one. On the 4th of March, I attended Command Your Week. For the first time, I was so blessed to find myself in such an atmosphere. I did not have enough money on me except my offering and my fare back home. But just when we were going to give our offering, after Papa declared that our blessings, breakthroughs, and destiny helpers that were held should be released, I received a mysterious mobile money alert. There was no accompanying message or information on the sender, but the money was in my account. I asked around, but no one claimed to have sent it. And I guess he's enjoying it, or she's enjoying it. It says, praise the Lord. Say in the name of Jesus. Any resources, any money that is due me, held back, tied up, anywhere, I command, let it be released into my account, into my account, into my account. In the name of Jesus, put your hands together, give God praise. Hallelujah. Amen. It's time for us to take our offerings. If you have an offering, please take it. Take an offering. Take an offering. Let's bless God. If you have it, take it. If you don't have it, praise the Lord. Come. Take an offering. Lift it up. Let's pray over it. Say in the name of Jesus. With these offerings, as I give in obedience and in appreciation of the goodness of God upon my life, I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, in the spirit of lack, in the spirit of lack, in the spirit of insufficiency, contending against the works of my hands, I declare. By the Spirit of God, let it break. Let it break. I command abundance, release. And this week shall be the week of my abundant release. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Amen. You may please come, come towards the altar. And those of us giving online, we declare in the name of Jesus that the hand of the Lord shall be stretched forward you. In the name of Jesus, please just touch the altar and go back. Just touch the altar and go back. Touch the altar and go back. Hallelujah. Please be on your feet. 
as we close, we want to take a scripture from the book of Ruth chapter 2, verse number 16. Bible says, and let fall also some of the handfuls of peppers for her, and leave them, that she may clean them, and rebuke her not. Say in the name of Jesus, I declare that this week, as I walk through the week, may the angels of God be dispatched from the heavens above, and may they carry miracles, blessings, breakthroughs and leave them in my path. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I declare over your life that you will fall into handfuls of purpose. May you stumble into miracles. May you stumble into blessings. May you stumble into breakthroughs. May you stumble into good news. May good news attend your way. May the hand of the Lord be upon you. May your family be blessed. May your children be blessed. In your going out, be blessed. In your coming, be blessed. Whatever you drink, be blessed. Whatever you eat, be blessed. As you rise up, be blessed. As you go to sleep, be blessed. May the hand of the Lord rest upon you for good and not for evil. May peace be within your walls and may the prosperity of God never depart from your policies. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody shout, Amen. Give the Lord a clap. Give him praise. Give him glory. Give him all the honor. In the name of Jesus. May your week be good. May your week be blessed. we we'll see you next week for command your week for another level of the hand of the Lord upon your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you.